Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Shaman King episode number 11. Alright, the previous episode, we uh, it was kind of a little uh, like you know an episode where we get out of the whole like you know battles and stuff. It was an episode. Oh, there was a battle but it was not obviously like one of the tournaments. But we met the bows <laughs> and uh, we had a little fight with them. Uh, thankfully, Ryu was there. And he came to the rescue by the end of it and we got to know that Ryu has a spirit that is he's a shaman now and like I kind of guessed it from before uh, after Tokagero decided to stay that probably Tokagero will like you know kind of fuse with Ryu because they're so similar you know like <laughs> even the way they talk and all like it's so similar and i think uh it's probably like you know the way a person is or a spirit is kind of affects their compatibility if they are similar in personality and you know uh like their mannerisms and all i'm not sure about this but probably it's something like this because you know you're fusing souls so if your souls are like you know like has the same wavelength and stuff it can probably fuse better something like this i'm not completely sure about this but it like you know it might be something like this but anyways uh, so yeah we uh, saw how Ryu became a shaman and uh, we also like you know had a little feast and all with all the members there <laughs> Ren also came and by the end of it Ren decided to stop his father uh, because he knew that he won't be able to break out of the shackles unless and until he stops his father and this episode will probably be him having a battle with his father which I'm quite excited to see because like his father is supposed to be quite strong and Ren is quite strong himself so it will probably be a great battle so let's see you know what uh, this episode brings so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number 11 of Shaman King so yeah I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right. <laughs> Super no nonsense mode. <laughs> wow. Okay. So yeah, this will be him fighting, you know, all, all, obviously he'll have to fight the underlings before and then probably he'll go to his father. All right. All right, let's start the battle. And here we go. Two men. Okay. Ha! <laughs> it's nothing to him. <laughs> okay. But but they have the like you know the mass manufactured spirits there. You know inside I guess. Oh. What the Oh, that's his father? Whoa! <laughs> he, he looks... I kind of made the same mistake before, you know, when he was, like, you know, patting the panda. I was thinking, oh, what a, what a cool, like, you know... Uh, 
person but yeah he's pretty ruthless from the inside Tao N uh <laughs> wow yeah look at look at the preparations <laughs> both oh, oh, oh his sister Oh great. Oh my god. Wait, what is that? Oh no. Oh god. Mm, okay. Hmm. Oh God. What? Oh God. Yeah, this guy's pretty ruthless. Like, you know, like the way he acts and the way he actually is, is a big contrast. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Doubt obscures the truth. Oh no! It's, it's, oh! <laughs> Electric chair. Oh, is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank God they got to know, you know. Oh my God, so he was also captured. Yeah, like, oh, oh God. So they'll have to go to China now, like... Oh, what the? Oh my god! Oh yeah, true, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> Ten days. Oh God.
Yeah. Okay. Damn the torture tools. Who knows me? Okay, like I'll talk about that. <laughs> like who knows like you know like before like they kind of censored some gore oh they already came here like maybe they also censored some like you know of the tortures something like you know the blood and stuff in this episode as well who knows Yeah, it was 10 days, so I, I'm guessing, yeah. Oh, Anna did not come? Wait a minute, I'm not... Yeah, she did not come. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, so are they laying some trap or something? Must be like they they must know that Ren, you know, Yo is going to come, so they're trapping, trying to trap them. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it is a trap. Yeah. Oh wow, what is inside the... <laughs> the mid-boss. My masterpiece. Five? Oh. Oh, great. <laughs> Gohu Kuseitai. Gohu Kuseitai. Hmm. Six floors. Red origin uh, Mysterious darkness Whoa Oh, it's it's down. Okay. Yeah, like we don't need to go up um, <laughs> Yeah. Um Okay. You're for our emotional support, you know?
All right, let's go. Oh, great. Ha, there they are. Oh my god, is this some kind of Power Ranger reference? I don't know. Like, I've, I've not really watched Power Rangers that much, so... Oh no, his hair! What the? Yeah, I think this is some kind of Power Ranger reference. <laughs> Oh no, Ma Manta! Wow! <laughs> okay. Wow! <laughs> nice! Yeah! What is it? It's like firearms. <laughs> Ryu is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oversold. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, you know? Let's see. <laughs> That's also true. Wow. <laughs> He's getting frozen mid air, imagine. Wow. New killer move. Water vapor in the air. Damn. Okay, he, he has the speed of Cheetah. And there you go, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Hell Dragon Kimsel is. Okay. Yeah, that's a grave offense. Like he was. <laughs> oh my god, his hair! <laughs> his hair is the best thing I've ever seen. Okay, she's uh, mending her, him. Yeah, he, he's a spirit, so obviously. Who the? Oh, okay. Yo is here. That's yo, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, time to get out. <laughs> Okay, well, we have two new allies now. Yeah, he's going to go up. We know. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Well. <sighs> okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> he's just watching. Oh no, he has another panda. Great. Oh, that's the same panda, isn't it? It has the thing. Come on, stop that. Oh god. Like my god, will he allow him to fight? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. Hatred inside of me. Yeah, so defeating him means defeating that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh great who are these these are not those yeah oh those those two dragon's day Torture Brothers. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And die. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. One shot. There you go. Ha! All right. <laughs> wow, okay, that's good. Um, so yeah, like, so I was thinking like how, like, you know, like, obviously this is one of the, I'm guessing, like, I thought this could go to either two ways, either he himself will be like, you know, enough to defeat the dad, you know, it will probably be a huge fight, 
but he like you know uh ren would be able to defeat him by himself but there's another thing that i thought that maybe you know like somehow uh yo will come here obviously because he's the main character so it went like you know with the other like you know uh the the variation that i thought that you came here and mike like you know, i thought that how is even you going to come here like like how is he even going to get the information that he is confronting his dad so we saw what happened you know basom came and like notified them and like you know like for 10 days they like within those 10 days they were able to come here and like all like his dad like we already knew like he's he's definitely going to be one of the strongest people here because he's the dad of ren you know <laughs> so yeah they definitely need more help you know ren needs more help here because the way he is now as his sister said that you won't be able to defeat him properly okay that's the end so he needs you know more allies now even if like you know we have ren yo horo horo and ryu like i'm still you know thinking will will that be enough to defeat this guy because th this guy like he seems very strong like i don't know like like he like, you know the 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 way he is acting the way he is carrying himself it shows that he he's no like you know the small deal he is a pretty strong guy and like and obviously he is Ren's dad and uh he has been like you know he has a lot of experience a lot of like things uh which will make him like you know even more stronger than we have ever imagined him to be so like let's see you know like th there's four of them like you know uh not four um <coughs> one two three <coughs> yeah four four of them uh ren um yo horo horo and ryu and i'm excluding uh this i forgot his sister's name was her, his sister's name tao wasn't it just a sec let me go and check it um i think it was tao what no, oh, no no maybe wait a minute uh tao jun okay Tao Tao is the last name, isn't it? Yeah, like Tao Ren. Yeah, yeah. So her name is Jun. Okay, I I need to remember that. Okay, so uh, like I don't know. I think I'm I'm excluding Jun because obviously Pyron is still not you know uh like you know stitched up. So I I doubt he'll be able to help them. So I'm excluding Jun because of that reason. So there's like four of them, and like. I hope I, I I guess they'll be able to defeat him because there's four of them, you know, like four oversouls. Yeah, like probably they'll be able to defeat them. Uh, defeat uh the dad, but who knows? Like, you know, like as they are saying, like this guy's a monster. And yeah, he looked like a monster, like you know, and the way he, the way you see we are seeing him, and okay, so like. As I said, like in the previous episode, we saw that this guy really acts so differently than he really is. Um, obviously, the first thing that, like you know, we can say about him is that he, like, you know, the whole panda situation. That oh, God, like, <laughs> like the previous episode, he killed that panda, and in this episode, I can see like he most probably uh, reanimated the panda, you know, like brought it up, like, you know, made, made it alive from the dead because the talisman is stuck on his head. And now he's again, like, you know, like patting him and probably he'll kill him in the next episode. Like, I don't know, but yeah. And as, as I said, like he acts really different. Like when he first, you know, came in, came in you know, he said that, Oh, rain, you're happy. You're back. And <laughs> like, the way he was talking, I, at the beginning, I thought, okay, maybe this is some kind of, like, you know, uh, maybe Ren's master or something, like, you know, someone who trained Ren, like, uh, who has been with him for uh, quite a long time. Because, you know, like, in animals, we see these type of characters, like, there's one, like, you know, a, a character whose master is very, like, you know, casual type of a guy, like, you know, but he's very strong, like, that type of a character, you know, he's very friendly with the, 
person who he has trained you know from the from childhood and i thought it's something like you know this guy might be something like that because obviously in the previous episode we did not see the face of the dad so when he just came in and like oh like ren you're here i thought that okay maybe this guy is like you know maybe his master or his sensei or something like you know they ha they have been training for so long and they have a good relationship but now he has to like you know uh stop him and like you know he has to like go against him and they'll have a fight and after defeating him he'll go to the dad something like that i thought ah turns out that's actually not the case because that's the dad himself and his personality was so unusual that i was unable to re recognize him properly unless and until he actually said that oh like you're so acting cold towards papa like you know something like that because then i realized that ah this guy is the same guy from the previous episode <laughs> like that's how much the actions and the words are like you know different like this guy's and the way he talks is the opposite of the way he acts and yeah so and then like he, the whole the, the fight that happened where uh okay <clears throat> like he did something i'm not sure what he actually did like you know he kind of like you know ren tried to stab him like, you know, not stab sorry impale him and nothing happened like you know like he was just standing there and there was this where is that portion okay he yeah he uses his uh technique a uh, wrench technique and here we go the this like little uh like you know the 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 dress that he's wearing gets torn i think i'm not sure what that actually is and there's this aura going out i'm guessing he kind of got injured but at the same time some kind of like you know very fast healing was happening regenerative powers or something and it barely affected him something like that and he's huge like i can see from this scene he is huge like, like you know his his hand is so big that it can completely cover ren that's how huge he is but his head is small so <laughs> you know anyways um so yeah and then like he gets captured and now i was thinking like how are they going to even go to the place to uh like you know it's in china to save ren but like you know we saw like they were <clears throat> in prison for 10 days like i'm talking about ren like june was in prison for 20 days so yeah and um like one thing i don't know how did june even get pyron's body like we saw the uh, like you know the dad kind of scattering pyron's body in front of them so like and then we see like you know like in the later portion that uh june is stitching tap pyron's body so how did he even get that in the first place i'm not sure but anyways and okay so then we like you know then we see the torture chamber and now here's the thing like we were being shown those torture tools and all and like i remember in one of the previous episodes someone commented that the scene where uh you know like man uh, uh yeah manta uh, manta got the like you know like kind of got dissected in a way by faust like it was not properly shown in the anime uh you know the blood and all so i'm guessing they did this for the uh you know sake of censorship or something now i wonder maybe uh, you know the manga had some more scenes here which was kind of gruesome or something i'm not sure because i obviously I, i've not read the manga so like you know the, the way they were showing us the torture tools maybe it like you know it censored something in this anime and did not show us or something like that like i'm just like you know guessing like it might not be that case like you know maybe nothing happened like that and everything that happened was off you know off camera off screen so like i'm sure like you know they got tortured but uh but like you know as we were being shown the torture tools but yeah anyways um and then uh these like you know the uh ryo and his friends come come to china and uh n unleashes the uh what was the name the five okay his actual name is gohu gohoku oh gohoku setai gohoku means i think five and seitai means soldiers i think i'm not sure something like that um so yeah okay now uh, 
five uh, just a sec a uh, gofk setai yeah that's what they're called and i think the translation might be wrong there, there's the translation is five star just a sec Wait, just a sec Let, I'm, I'm checking how they inter okay the five the five curse squad okay maybe seitai means squad that might be it you know or something i don't know but uh, i'll have to ch uh, just a sec let me just go and check it uh uh seitai okay i cannot find it but anyways it, it must be something like that you know like uh, anyways uh, I'm, I'm spending too much time in this all right so uh now now here's the thing like i don't actually know because i've not actually like you know uh seen power rangers as much as like you know others people have seen like i i've, I've seen it a few times in when i was uh, you know when i was in my childhood and i also I, like you know it was, it was so long ago that i don't even remember most of the stuff but i remember obviously like in the power rangers there was this like you know the red ranger the blue ranger the green ranger so like you know and the they the way these guys were posing i think maybe this is some kind of power ranger reference i might be wrong you know but i i feel like it because you know the color like you know the different colors of these guys one is red one is yellow one is green one is blue and one is pink so yeah i remember like obviously like power rangers had like you know uh the red ranger i think was uh like you know the leader or something usually and there was this all the other rangers as well and i don't know if i'm wrong correct me down in the comments like i think it's some kind of power ranger reference or something the way they're like you know posing and all <laughs> like the red the red guy was in the middle kind of making him the leader and he was talking as a leader as well and there's this all the other like you know colored uh, uh corpses as well but yeah anyways and then uh, like uh, we have the fight and we see like they have been modified uh, like you know one has a snake hand one has an elephant feet all these stuff one has a cheetah's feet <clears throat> so that's what this guy usually does and uh, does and like and kind of brings as he says the worthy corpse like damn like imagine <laughs> like <laughs> like you know like denoting a corpse as worthy wow anyways like you know like people who were just like pyron was like you know experimented upon like uh who was very strong in their uh when they were alive he brings them and modifies them just like this like you know like he added these uh animal parts in them and one one even has like a like you know a firearms in its hand and bullets and all like what the hell is that <laughs> you know uh, anyways and then uh like they fight and I, I think probably like horohoro and ryu they were kind of stopping them and they're very strong like you know horohoro and ryu so like yeah they'll be able to stop them easily like you know hold their ground uh like these guys are not that much of a big deal i'm hoping at least you know who knows maybe we'll see something else in the next episode and again it use uh a pump and <laughs> it got cut like i love the fact that the way you know his hair like always <laughs> like you know always gets damaged like always like you know like his hairstyle is uh, in a way that in fighting usually it's bound to get damaged because you know like the like whenever like uh, like people go into f war or like you know in fighting and all they try to keep their hair short so that the enemies don't grab you by the hair you know or it does not like you know get in the way or get entangled in something it would be a mess so people usually you know cut their hair down so but here you like you know, has a big <laughs> like you know patch of hair in front so whenever someone <laughs> attacks him like you know like <laughs> he dodges the attack but ob obviously his hair obviously uh, like you know all the time gets the da gets damaged <laughs> and this time it got even like you know damaged in a very wrong way it kind of got you know vertically slashed and it's it's like too <laughs> like and then it's flapping in the in the air now like that's funny <laughs> uh oh my god and he got mad like you know like his precious hair like he was kind of like growing it in a very stylish way you know it was like had two or three rings and now it's damaged completely so yeah 
<laughs> that's a grave offense <laughs> anyways and then we get to uh, the um torture chamber again and here it is like we see uh, june with pyro's body i'm not sure where he, she got the body you know like because it was scattered outside maybe the like you know he, she was able to but how would she be even even able to get them like i'm not sure anyways uh, and then yeah we get in and yo comes in he helps them out and ren says that i have to go and stop him because like otherwise i myself won't be able to uh like you know carry on because as he said like you know he feels guilty for all the uh things that he have done to, so to get out of that shackle that's binding him because he cannot change your past all he can do is stuff for the future and the present so like that's why he said that yeah like if i go back from here uh like you know i i won't be able to sit still so i have to end this here and now i came here to fight that i will fight that and i will defeat him so yeah like that's his determination and like yeah obviously now the thing that yo says is also true because as he says that you know like he's pretty damn strong so like as he said like live to fight another day but ren won't listen uh because like we heard his explanation like if he says that if he goes back from here like he won't be content like he he won't be able to live his life properly so he needs to like you know deal with this here and now and yeah like and then like obviously like yo also joins them and i was thinking will yo like you know will ren kind of say that no you don't have to do this because like you know like this is my thing my family business and i want to defeat him myself something like that but thankfully he did not say anything like that you know because obviously like he himself won't be able to defeat his dad by himself i think that's impossible at least the the way they are now they're definitely going to get stronger but in this current time ren won't be able to defeat his dad so he needs allies to help him so i was thinking like will he become stubborn and say that no i don't need your help i am going to do it myself because this is my family business he did not say that and that's a good thing you know like he knows that he himself probably won't be able to defeat the guy so he needs help and yeah uh, it's really nice you know like when they like <laughs> when you're kind of you know <laughs> uh, what do, what do you call that like put put his arms on his shoulders and said that like, yeah it'll work out <laughs> the same word that uh, ren said to june <laughs> when jun you know he said that yeah it'll all work out like i know a friend who said that and yeah <laughs> and then the, the other two torturers come who was uh was with jun before and they got defeated just like that they were talking too much and they got defeated <laughs> you know and now we are off to defeat n and like the name uh, also like you know like uh, his name is n i think n means something with fire isn't it you know uh n n n like like ren is ren but n uh oh no maybe not no I, I okay correct me if i'm wrong i think uh like n is somehow related to fire or something i might be wrong here and but there's also this um, i don't know like i'm trying to find some words with n like you know n Uh, I'm, I'm not sure uh, like correct me if i'm wrong like i think n is n uh, yeah n, n has some kind of relation with fire and it has some other you know meanings as well uh, i don't think like uh, this guy's name n is not related to fire here it's something else some other meaning but yeah and it's really like you know like his name is n his, his son's name is ren so like you know it's kind of 
but anyways like you know like uh yeah anyways so that's like his name so yeah like correct me if i'm wrong but i i think it, like n has something to do with fire i might be wrong here so anyway so yeah guys that was it and that was my reaction to uh shaman king episode number 11 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day